welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the stock swooshing and reviewing the SPY here. Market has had a wild ride here once again today. This just continues the volatility. Don't expect this to go away anytime soon. Don't expect this volatility to go away even after they pass the stimulus package. In fact, there'll probably be more volatility. Um, so long story short, we were down pretty big this morning. Then we were gapping up this morning. Then we ended up the last 15 minutes right from 9.15 into 9.30, right into the, into the open. Um, we actually then ended up gapping down. So it was a wild ride uh, in the pre-market today. Uh, really the wildest ride I've seen in a long time, but we've been seeing a lot of wild rides. So it's hard to keep track of it anymore. Every day runs together now. But we closed at 228.80 on Friday. Then we opened at 228.19 on Monday. And again, I'm just going to show you this here. We were up at one point this morning, uh, substantially. Actually, let's just see where the high was, 238.89. Now, I would not have bought this, but I'm just letting you know we were here. And then we lost it and we're open down here. Anyways, I called it a fast, just a really quick day trade short in the SPY this morning. It was a good idea. It was a wonderful trade and um, went bigger than expected. And it's interesting because I really wasn't anticipating doing anything today. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, here this is. So the market drop, fell off, rallied back, called the short, got the drop. And there it was. So nice short today in the SPY. You could have done the SPY. You could have done the Qs. You could have done Apple. You could have shorted any one of a number of things today. But a really nice day trade called by me. So I call the entry, the stop, and the exit in the live trading room for equity trades. If you're interested in doing options, that's a separate newsletter. It's called the Gap Options Newsletter. You can sign up for that. It is on the website or email me for more information. So on the options newsletter, I call calls and puts. In the day trading room, I'm calling the exact entry and the numbers because we're doing quick trades that we're out of every day before four and long before four. I mean, today we were in and out very, very quickly. And in this type of market, when you're up, you need to book the profits, particularly in day trades, because we've had so many halts. Now, the market didn't get halted today, but Boeing did. Uh, didn't call any trades today in Boeing, but people need to be aware of what's going on here. I need to play it in the right direction. So I'm doing a great job. Clients are happy. Everything's going well. We'll see where this week goes. Um, it is 1.36 here on Monday, uh, last week of, last full week of March. And it's gonna be, you know what? Let me just see, when does earnings season actually start? I mean, it's, I don't think anyone's even thinking about earnings season right now, but <laughs> let me just see exactly. I just wanna see what Apple reports and then maybe I'll look at it. Oh, not till the end of April. Yeah, Apple's the end of April. Yeah, all right. Well, we have a little time here to get situated or this market to get situated. <laughs> Anyways, if you're an active trader right now, it's been some great trading if you know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, then you need to learn what to do. So if you're interested in my Golden Gap course, it's this weekend, March 28th and 29th. Great time to join. Great time to learn gaps. Lots of momentum, lots of volume. Volatility makes for great profits. We know how to trade it. And luckily I do. Good luck, everyone. Be careful this week. Email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information about the class this weekend. Have a good day.